one of the things we talk about with sharpening is when you go to sharpen this is if it's a flat chisel there's a bevel and then there's a flat side and as you sharpen you create a burr and that burr you have to work that burr off to actually achieve a sharp edge to it and so usually it gets to a point that you really can't see it anymore so you actually use your fingers and you feel it and it's one of those things and it could be a really small burr and the students are feeling it and say they don't feel it i'm like well it's right there and they don't feel it and then i say look away and I want you to put your finger up a little further and feel it's really smooth. When you bring it to the edge, feel it. And they're like, oh, it's different. So I actually have a micrometer that a student gave me that you can dial. And it has a little plunger that comes out and I can dial it by uh, one thousandths of an inch. So I dial out about three thousandths of an inch and I have them all feel it. And it feels like a pimple, right? They can feel it on the smooth surface. And that's about the thickness of notebook paper. And then I bring it down to one thousandths and they can all feel it. So they get a sense of how fine that is, and that's like tinfoil thickness. That's how thin that, that is, like drafting paper thickness. So trying to get them to not always count on their sight and count by their feel is really important.